Whoa! Calm down. It's a grass snake. Really great size. She is gorgeous. Look at her. Today I'm looking for the largest species of snake in Britain, the grass snake. This species grows from around three to five feet long. And although this isn't the largest snake in the world by any means, compared to our other two native species in this country, it is enormous. And this place is incredible for this species. As you can see, I am surrounded by this lush overgrown grass. And on top of this, Grass snakes are also a semi-aquatic species, and right next door, we have a wetland. So today, on this beautiful morning, I'm gonna be walking around and seeing what I can find, and even turning up a few metal sheets that are dotted around on this site to help my chances. So just over here, I think I found our first evidence of snakes on the site. A snake skin. So this here is a grass snake skin shedding. And the reason I know that it's grass snake is purely by the size. No other species of snake in this country grows to be this long. And it also doesn't have the distinctive zigzag pattern that you'd expect from an adder snake skin. And there's so much you can tell from a snake shedding. Judging by the size of this one, I would say it was probably a male, purely from the length of the tail. And this one's in amazing condition. It's a little bit broken here and there. But if you look carefully, you can even see that the eye caps are still attached. And this snake shedding is really quite crispy, which means that it's probably been here for a little while. Fresh snake sheddings are usually quite soft, which means the snake that did this probably isn't in the area anymore, but it does tell me that they're definitely here. So early last year, on this very site, I was lucky enough to find grass snake eggs, which I've never found before. And again, the only reason I know that they were from a grass snake is purely because of their size. And because of movies, there's this misconception that reptile eggs are a bit like bird eggs in the sense that they're brittle and break easily. But this isn't the case at all. Most reptile eggs are actually really leathery and are actually quite soft, which makes it easier for them to rip instead of break open. Look what I've just found under here. Beautiful. Look at her. <laughs> it's a grass snake, really great size. She is gorgeous and you can see that she's a little bit frantic at the moment so I won't keep her here for too long. Just look at her. Now you can tell she's a grass snake because she's that beautiful olive colour and she's got that amazing ring around her neck. Look at that. Wow. Calm down. And this is a really good size too. This is a pretty common size for them. Although there are some people in this country that claim grass snakes can grow up to six feet long. Now I'm not saying that's not true. All I'm saying is I've never seen one personally. I'm all to be proved wrong. Now when grass snakes feel threatened, they'll do one of either two things. They'll play dead or they'll let out a musk odor. And this odor is a really pungent smell. It's not very pleasant, and you'd be rather unlucky if you got it stuck to your clothes as it is really clingy and it struggles to come out. Although, there is a bit of a method to try to get it out, and that's to uh, rub tomato puree on it. I have tried this method a couple of times, and after a good wash, it does actually work quite well. Sometimes, in order to scare you off, they will pretend like they're adders of venomous snakes here in Britain, and they'll hiss at you. Grass snakes have been known to eat basically anything they can get their hands on, but most commonly as small mammals like mice and baby rats. And because they're found in wetland areas, 
This also makes them great predators for things like water voles and amphibians like frogs and newts. And they've also occasionally been known to eat other reptiles like lizards. Now she has calmed down a bit, so I am gonna let her go now. So hopefully she can find a nice yummy mouse or maybe even a vole. <laughs> Look at that beautiful color. Isn't that just gorgeous? I think that if I could have one favorite animal in this country, it would be this guy. No matter how many of them I see, I'm always amazed by them. Alrighty, I'm gonna put her back in this log pile where I found her. Go on, girl. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video or learnt something new, please consider subscribing. And also, consider checking out some of my other stuff, especially if you enjoy nature and wildlife. Cheers.